Hello, it's C.J. Miller. I'm in Shreveport, Louisiana, uh, downtown across the Red River from beautiful Bossier City, Louisiana. And I'm here with this canvas uh, that I've been working on with some acrylic paints. And um, yeah, so I like to regard it uh, once in a while from a from kind of a few feet back. That's what that's how most art is viewed. You don't really get way on it and stare at it. Uh, and study the brush stroke and the type of technique. It's it's more about the the effect from kind of back here a little bit, you know. But I see in this particular window right here, there is a, a certain depth that I've, I've created that kind of it's a little standoutish to me in a good way, in a good way from some of the other uh, windows uh, that are in this building. And that's all right. It kind of lets me know maybe I want to uh, be a little careful with how I elaborate in those buildings if I go in and I put anything. Because it's still kind of like, it's like maybe there's just a brighter light there or whatever. I kind of like it. It's kind of cool. So uh, we'll see what's up. You know, and I think I've just gotten an idea, but I'm not going to say so right now. I think I've gotten uh, an idea on how the the, the foreground can kind of play with that middle ground in that window there. But that's kind of cool. That's one of the things I like about uh, taking uh, taking in a, a, a painting that I'm working on uh, in pieces because my ideas sometimes develop as I go. Uh, what I've done was I've come here with um, uh, this cloudy, murky color that's kind of going to lend itself to the atmosphere and I started on the top of the canvas, and I'm pulling paint down uh, gradually as I work uh, to build upon some atmosphere, some change in that atmosphere uh, that's going to kind of, um, you know, give itself to the narrative that I want to create with this painting. You know, so. uh, well, that's enough about this. I'm actually about to go for a walk, so... Uh, I'm going to pause the video. I'll continue while I'm outside. Uh, uh, yeah, let's see what's up. Oh, I'm so happy for my window treatment. Uh, pretty soon I'll be doing some more. But uh, So where do I want to go today? I don't know. I've been going to the riverfront a lot lately. Um, we'll see. But uh, yeah. Oh, you know what? I think I'm going to go check out... Uh, uh, the Asian gardens. It's been a nice relaxing day. I think I can continue with some relaxing, some relaxation over there. Actually, if something is tight and then you loosen it, you lax it. If something was kind of uh, loose and has gotten tight and then you loosen it again, you relax it. So weird. I'm getting uh, into words, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> okay, hang on. Hi. So, on my way to um, the uh, Asian Gardens, I'm going to try going uh, well, a different route, you know. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I think I can get in here. There's sort of a path here. Is this blocked off? Huh? Ah. Well, anyway, I thought it would be fun to, uh, huh, check out some of this. This is kind of a park area right by this uh, cemetery. It's actually the oldest cemetery in Treeport. Now, I do not want to walk into the cemetery. Because... Oh, I know. I should have went uh, up one more. That's okay. I'll just uh, kind of climb up here. Get, a, get my climb on. Oh. There we go. So I wanted to kind of walk beside the cemetery. I don't want to go into it. I don't necessarily know that where I'm standing wasn't part of the cemetery or whatever at one point, but I was kind of like, I, don't know. I keep saying, hey, one of these days I'm going to go over there and check out. Oh, and it's uh, full moon, night number two. Uh, it's really full now. Uh, why the hell am I walking near a cemetery? <laughs> and there's a church behind me over there. 
And there is the uh, municipal auditorium that, by the way, supposedly is haunted with a lot of, uh, you know, specters. I, you know, musical, you know, whatever. I don't know. Memories. Oh, God, that looks cool as shit, though. Okay, let me pause the video. Just so we can get a perspective, here's the steeple that's in my painting. Oh, the moon. The moon just went behind the cloud to hide its space and cry. Uh, as penned by Hank Williams, who played at the uh, <laughs> Municipal Auditorium. <sighs> Some of these... Uh, Some of these figures are really awesome, you know. <sighs> okay. Anybody, uh, anybody spooked out yet? <sighs> let's, let's do a slow walk with the, I don't know, a creepy theme. Do, do, do. Gotta have weird noises. I love this is a, actually just a, a tree. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so um, more more theme. Okay, I'm being really ridiculous. So it's probably because I need to eat, but I don't want to eat until much closer to midnight. So as I step away from here, the municipal auditorium in the shadow, as I step out of that shadow of this tall concert hall, uh, and kind of cross here, when I when I step just across this road here, um, we're gonna enter the realm of the uh, Asian gardens from the backside. So it's really kind of cool. Uh, it's one of my favorite places to come and just like think and check out and appreciate um, because every station is a work of art in its own. You know. I even, the little benches that they have around the trees for people to sit. I don't know how well, let me see if I can't turn on. There we go. Um, cool. And I can't tell you that I understand what all these mean, but I can certainly appreciate the craft, the beauty of it, and the Asian community, uh, the various Asian communities come together. And so each one of these stations kind of represent a different facet of uh, Asian culture, you know, not necessarily all conclusive, but, you know. And there is an Asian festival, uh, or an Asian, yeah, an, yeah, where they come here and they do like, a, you know, various Asian cultural uh, crafts and food. And lately, the last uh, couple of times they've done it, they've even like opened, uh, they've they've opened it to be shared and explored by other cultures, not just Asian culture, because. Uh, in keeping with, you know, forwardness, uh, you know, it's it's okay to hold on to one's tradition while living side by side next to uh, another culture or people or whatever, as most of us do anyway. And so, yeah, I guess that's what I, I don't know what kind of message. I think it was just like, hey, we'll share this festival with you. So we get that. We have, uh, there's... 
uh, a lot of different little cultures that come together for that. It was really kind of cool. Oh, I was like, what is that shadow moving? I don't know if you guys saw it or not. It was a cat. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, one thing I know about even cats in the wild, you leave them alone. You know, my sister's cat, one, she's got two cats. One of them loves me. One of them uh, knows me and doesn't mind me so much, but my sister went out of town and I was going to cat sit for her. And uh, the, the one cat uh, kind of like is a little bit special and a little bit feral in a way. And when I went to like lie down and take a nap uh, on the bed, because I was going to like uh, take care of the house. Oh my God, this cat went like just crazy, like, you know, guard dog mode you know and i was like i was like fuck this and i have never walked off of a uh a house sitting a pet sitting job before but i was like i was like you know your one cat is like fighting the other cat the one that loves me is is fighting the other cat and keeping him in check because this one cat that's kind of feral is like following me around the apartment and really trying to jump and claw and bite and everything like that and it's like uh I don't know if this cat hates me. It's like one of these cats is going to get hurt, you know. Like, <laughs> this cat's like, hey, mommy's not here, so nobody else should be here in this house when mommy's not here. Uh, it was kind of cool. I love the loyalty of it, but also there was no, uh, you know, <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I think it was like when I went and I, I lied down on the bed and I put my head on my sister's pillow because the cat was like, oh, we're not having this shit. Get up, you know. Uh, cats are very loyal. Cats are very loyal that way. <sighs> um, did I get... I, I did get some of that. I was talking and yammering on about... Uh, cats. So, uh, beautiful archways. It would be, these are kind of like representative, representative of little paths that you could walk through. I would, it would be neat if they actually had, uh, you know, meditating meditating you know pads that you could meditate walk around and meditate in this one house that i used to live in it was a uh, a group home a zillion years ago over on jordan street and uh, that's uh hyperbole by the way <laughs> it wasn't a zillion years ago but um it did in the garden it had a little circular uh path that you could kind of walk around and meditate but only for about 10 seconds because it took you about that long to like <laughs> pace around it. So I get, I get the design of it, but it was more of a design than a practicality. I like this. There's even like design in, uh, like, yeah, that's cool. Kind of cool. So, and every, like, even the, there's, even the pottery, there's different little uh, representations of uh, artwork that, ins that draws inspiration from the culture. I'm, I'm picking up a lot of, uh, you know, like, uh, you know, this is kind of cool. Let me just sit here and think for a moment. I'm going to sit down and check it out. Yeah, yeah, okay. What thoughts will come to your head? You know, I don't know if this is a nice uh, example of meditation or not. <laughs> but uh, a good way to meditate would be to shut up and sit in silence and uh, kind of clear the head and... Uh, just kind of like welcome whatever will come through. So I'm going to pause the camera and I'll see if I come up with anything clever or, you know, if, if my head will be, you know, empty tonight. <laughs> All right. The only thing I've come up with is that I'm not finished uh, exploring or walking yet, 
This is kind of cool. But there's some other stuff I want to check out. Oh, yeah. I've, I've, I've checked these. Uh, I've done this. I've done this neighborhood a lot before. People, people who have, like, uh, been with me for a while know that I'm just going to, like, uh, walk around on top of bread and stuff. Okay, so I'll come this way. Um, there used to be a business down here called the Mini Cinema, or we would call it the Mini Cin. Uh, it's not there anymore. But uh, along this uh, row of buildings is also uh, some some businesses associated with Volunteers of America, uh, which is kind of cool. And we love these trees and stuff like that. So. Uh, but uh, some of the beautiful artwork that people did. Here, let me. You know, I just, I love this, you know, that even in, you know, some of the building here, uh, some of this long row that used to be a, a, a long time ago, like quite uh, a bustling bit of business, and then became uh, vacant for a while, and, uh, you know, dilapidated and everything. So I love the fact that... Uh, <sighs> Uh, oh, this was kind of like the, uh, you know, after George uh, Floyd, uh, you know, some things about, you know, excessive police violence and everything. So, uh, it's important. But my, my videos are not about political messages, even though some of them are certainly relevant. I love the way that crowd is moving. And uh, this is a flame because that is the, um, it used to be a firehouse, but now it's uh, the home of Shreveport Regional Arts Council. Uh, and uh, there's some artwork and museum inside of it and everything is beautiful. But, um, and I want to run across there and just run around all those electric trees, but there's a guy over there walking. So I'm going to like, oh, walk ahead, you know. But yeah, so, uh, yeah. Mini cinema, mini cinema was right about there. So, actually, what if I just crossed over and walked in the opposite direction? I get so such a momentum in going one direction, and I forget. Hey, I can just walk in the opposite direction across somebody. But I want to walk around for a little bit on this path and check out the sights, and it's lit, and I love it. And tables to rest if I want to come and rest. Uh, cool. So let's see what's up. Um, have I? It, and if I have, I guess it's been a while since I've really, really talked about this uh, little brook or mulch or something that sometimes has a little bit of a, a trench or a little bit of a waterway or something like that. But mostly it's a uh, dry. Uh, but there's a little bit of a brook uh, kind of feel to it and some, you know, kind of cool. But I think it's neat. I, th I love neat things, to be able to sit and look at neat things. And so, uh, um, a long time ago, <laughs> what was the, the uh, in the, Way back in the long, long ago, <laughs> the, the, uh, <laughs> beyond Thunderdome, the, the kids. Way back in the long, long ago, the little Australian kids. Anyway, so this was all uh, empty cement. Like there were buildings here or structure or something like that that had become, um, yeah, oh, yeah, uh, condemned. So they, they tore them down and said this was just here is a lot, you know, just an empty lot. And then uh, they um, came in, did a lot of clearing, and turned all of this into a grassy area and put this path in. And so it was to be uh, kind of a dog park kind of a situation. 
and then a few years after that, they decided to put in some uh, uh, some artistic structures, some LED uh, trees or whatever that I think are just awesome. And then a, a stage up here that you know that's lit and everything. And then yeah, so that's it's neat. It, I think it kind of brightens up the neighborhood, you know. Uh, more things like this, I think, are needed. We want to maybe work towards doing things that can be bright and lit, uh, maybe with solar, you know. Uh, maybe use less uh, natural resources, but I think LED, I mean, they're generally, you know, they're a lot more energy efficient uh, than, than some of the other types of bulbs that are out there, so I don't know. I say that as I've left uh, my LED in my window home. So that's so that I can check it out when I'm outside. You know, just, I mean, I want other people to enjoy the pretty lights. I may as well enjoy the pretty lights too. I don't know. <sighs> my next thing is I need to get some bulbs that I can program and change. Because my downstairs neighbor has like uh, lights that she can change and patterns and stuff like that. And it's like, eh, my God. Eh. You know, not about keeping up with the neighbors. It's more like, I really admire that. That's cool as hell. So I want that. And yeah, yeah, whatever. So, well, I've walked around and uh, explored and I've had fun. So I think it's almost time to head home. Um, I'm going to pause the video. If I have anything else to say, I'll unpause it. <laughs> and uh, we'll see. Yes, yes, yes. Even from over here, this uh, that Regions Bank Tower that I'm slightly representing in my uh, in my painting, you can see it from just all around downtown. You know, I did, I'm not going to paint the Regions name on it. First off, I'm picturing it from too far away to do that. But also, I don't really care for light branding. In, in, in my artwork. Yeah, I'll leave that to uh, pop artists who want to paint crushed up Campbell soups and uh, stuff. Okay, so the cardio spot. I still I still mean to get over there and check that out. It's just I never, you know, I'm, I'm never over there when they do that. But I do have, uh, you know, physical activity you know that I that I get along with these walks in the evening they're very important if you can entertain yourself and move that's kind of cool and uh, you know yeah it is for me you know okay more of a pause aha let me come up this way towards downtown oh. Oh, I thought I heard something that sounded like uh, gunfire, but I really think it was, uh, it may have been, I don't know. I thought it might have been a train, uh, but if it were, then I would still be hearing the, the clackety clack. So that maybe was gunfire, but it wasn't close. It was from uh, far off. Or, yeah, no, because there's no machinery going on this time. <sighs> Check out that view. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, so guys, I love you. I'm gonna end the video now. I'm gonna say love and light, peace. I, I, I wanna get a, a, a still shot of this. Uh, I love you all. Um, God bless, good night. This is kind of a Magritte. There's like the light coming through the window, this and that, everything like that. So, uh, you know, that, or, or who, who the artist that did the vanilla sky painting. Anyway, hang on. Love and light. Peace. God bless. Bye.